Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be taking you through a glorious glute focused leg day workout from our DAP Booty by DV program available in app. This workout is going to be focused on building your glutes and also increasing your strength. So we're going to start off with hip thrusts, moving on to our second compound lift, which will be barbell squats and then RDLs. And then we'll also be doing extra range side lying hip abduction. So this one's going to actually be with just body weight, but trust me, by that point in the workout, you're going to be feeling it. So you'll definitely want to be doing something that has a little bit less resistance. And then I hope this doesn't lose you, but we're going to be finishing with a Bulgarian split squat drop set. So I hope you're still here. And if you're still here, we're going to move on to the first exercise. Okay, so we're starting off with our hip thrust pyramid set. So a pyramid set is performed by performing the heaviest weight first for the least amount of reps. And then you, as you increase the reps, you decrease the weight. So we're starting off with 10 reps at our heaviest. Then we're removing a plate, 12 reps, remove another plate, 15 reps. It's going to burn, but that's fine. We're just getting started. We've also got a booty band. We're going to pop this on. So we just want to put this just above our knee. You don't have to use a booty band, but if you do want to feel extra tension <laughs> during this, you're going to be feeling a lot of burn. But if you want extra burn, then add a booty band. So we want to make sure that the bench is at the right height for you. So I've got a long torso and I'm also five foot 11. So this is a comfortable height for me because the bench is just resting underneath my shoulder blade. So that's a good level. If you do find that a regular bench is too high for you, then what you can do is just prop yourself up on a weight plate or a block. You'll be in a more comfortable position because you'll be slightly elevated. But we're going to get into this now. So we want to make sure that with our hip thrust that we're coming up into a full lockout position. We're going to be doing constant tension for this. So we want to make sure that we're not going to dead stop. So we we're not lowering the bar all the way to the ground. We want to make sure that we're keeping tension so we can still come down. It's not top range, but we want to make sure that we're really, really feeling that glute burn and keeping that tension for the entire time. So we're starting off with 10 reps. Let's get in. Oh my God. Okay, it's only the first set and it's burning. Oh wow, I wish I had a strong muscular man to help me take this weight off. <laughs> So all you need for this set is one times Dan and you'll be able to easily remove the weight. <laughs> okay, so you want as little rest as possible in between sets, which means that your helper needs to go nice and quick. <laughs> Appreciate you, thank you so much. All right, whew. so 12 reps, let's go. Oh my God. Hey, Daniel. <laughs> You feel free to remove both these plates. Okay, you're just doing one. 15, thank you very much. 15 reps. It is, but I can't sit properly. It's hurting so much. Okay, next. This is almost turning into cardio, it's problematic. Okay, 15. Oh my God. Uh, okay. Oh, that is so painful. That is burning. So, we wanna do this. Two more times, take a rest, make sure, oh my gosh, my breath. Make sure that you're resting for at least two to four minutes between sets. So with strength training, we wanna make sure we're getting sufficient rest. We don't wanna be blasting through the exercises, turning into cardio. Rest, get your breath back, <laughs> and then get ready for another very evil set. So probably the worst part about this, I mean, obviously it burns a lot, but you get a booty pump from the burn, so it's kind of like, it's justifiable, it's fine. But it's loading the weight back onto the bar. Wow, if only I had a strong muscular man. <laughs> there we go. And you know you're like lifting heavy when the clip is at the very end of the bar. <laughs> so I'm trying to increase my strength right now because I have the strong lifting comp coming up in September, but I'm going for more volume training in the meantime, just so that I don't fatigue too much, but also just trying to get a little bit more weight on the bar as I train. So hence, okay, in all honesty, it's just between you and I. Dan actually loaded the bar up. I wanted it lighter than this, but I'm trying to be like solid and just finish it. But like, it is, that's so heavy. Like you don't need to go this heavy. <laughs> this is like an ego lift right now because of him. <laughs> Muscular man. <laughs> oh my gosh, feel free this time to for sure remove two, okay, you're doing the one. <laughs> ah. Burn so good. Alrighty, 12 reps. <laughs> this little sleeve thing is coming off in a second. I'm like trapped under the bar too. I can't help myself. Okay, you just wanna make sure that you keep your chin tucked, eyes straight ahead. You don't wanna be pushing your, like throwing your chin back. 
especially as you get tired. Try to maintain form and if necessary, lighten the load even more so. Shortcut. Burns. Burns so good. All right, last set, best set. It's probably gonna be my worst set, to be fair. But let's get it. Okay, that's good. <sighs> this is so painful. I know you know that I know is really painful. <laughs> but I'm proud of you for getting through this set. We're almost there. <laughs> Thank you, Dan. <laughs> okay. Okay, so I want you to hold this last set at the top of the movement. I want you to hold it for 10 seconds. Do I have regret saying that? Immediately, yes. <laughs> oh my God. Oh, it's so painful, but so worth it. I think I'm sitting up slightly higher because of the booty pump, I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, we don't have any mirrors to check the booty pump, but I'm, but Daniel? <laughs> <laughs> Shit. Okay, so let's talk about barbell height. I'm doing barbell back squats. Sorry, we are doing barbell back squats next. So barbell height, you want it to be on your, across your upper chest. You want it to be a, at a comfortable height so that when you go under the barbell, you can lift it off the rack without having to bend down too far. So the lower the bar is to begin with, the more you have to actually squat down to get into position. And then if it's too high, you actually have to go on your toes. And if you're loading up the weight, that can be really dangerous because you can cause injury, you can lose your balance. Um, so we just want it at the right height. Not to be intimidating, this is nice and simple. In line with your armpits, ideally. There's two different ways you can also place your barbell when you are doing barbell back squats. If you come under the barbell, you can have it resting just across your trap. So this is a high bar. So it's not on your neck. So if you find discomfort with the bar, it's because you're actually putting the bar up too high and it's on your actual neck bone. So you don't want that. You want to be down on that meaty part of your back. So across your trap and you can bring it up and this will be the first position. Alternatively, I'm gonna show you this from the back. Alternatively, I'm gonna take my little jacket off because one, I'm sweating, and two, this will be easier to see. You can do a low bar squat. So I like to have a slightly wider grip for this. And then you really want to clench your shoulder blades together. See, it's nice and low, this one. And then when you're squatting, you actually have more of a forward tilt when you're doing low bar squats. Right, so this comes down to personal preference. A lot of the times when you're taller, then low bar squat is more comfortable, but give them both a try and see which one suits you more. I'm actually gonna do high bar for this one because I'm going with we. <laughs> once again, are going slightly lower reps. So we're doing eight reps. We're doing three sets of eight, but we are increasing the weight each set. So let's get into it. Actually, before we do get into it, I'm gonna remove my shoes. I get questions about this all the time. My shoes aren't completely flat. You can see the sole is quite cushioned. So this can cause instability when you're squatting. Obviously doing a weight bearing exercise um, and you need that stability, especially when you're grounded. You wanna make sure that you're wearing either completely flat shoes like Converse, or you can just go barefoot. Well, socks, DBA socks, DBA socks. <laughs> um, so I'm removing the shoes. Nice, easy, affordable way to get stability in your squats. I see the process and the journey I'm supposed to be, but perplexed. Cause I don't really see nobody close to me. Hopefully this ain't wasted and I know it ain't. You gotta take the time to see the Okay, so we only want to progressively go up. We've already done a taxing exercise as our first exercise, which was that, that uh, <clears throat> pyramid set. So we just want to progressively go up each set, but I'm only, I've increased it by 20 kilos. Yes, it may seem like quite a bit of a jump, but my first set was a warm up set. So we want to go relatively light, then increase for the next set. I'll probably chuck two fives on and then that'll be it. So I'm not pushing myself too hard, but I just want you to just get a good feel for it. And barbell back squats, when they're not the first exercise, you want to be careful to not go too heavy just because you don't want to compromise, compromise your form and which will obviously potentially increase risk of injury. So we're going a little bit lighter for this, but we just want to make sure we're getting full range. So, so this is parallel. We can go just below that without tucking our hips under, then that's where we want to be. So we don't want to have limited range to like here. We want to get nice, good depth, but we don't want to let our tailbone tuck under because then obviously that's putting, that's dumping the weight into our lower back. Alrighty, second set, eight reps. Let's get it. I'm blacking out a little bit, in all honesty. If you ever have that 
after a set, don't worry. A couple of reasons why you may be experiencing like a little bit of dizziness. One, you were just freaking lifting weights, so it totally makes sense. You're under load, you're working hard, so totally fine. But just with your breathing through the exercise, if you're holding your breath too much, you may find that after a set, you get a little bit dizzy, a little bit disoriented. Just make sure that when you're doing squats, you take a breath at the start of the squat, so a big breath in, and then you come down, you hold your breath, and then you breathe out to come back up again. So that's the breathing technique for squats. Do that for every rep. Final set. I was gonna go fives. Yeah, thank you so much. I'm a woman of my word, I can't, can't go against it. <laughs> I see the process and the journey I'm supposed to be the perplex cuz I don't really see nobody close to me hopefully this ain't wasted you know it ain't you got to take the time to see oh to marry you need the patience and the pressure. challenging <laughs> good but challenging wow next okay we have RDLs next I'm trying to think I'm like when are the Bulgarians coming up we have RDLs next so we're okay we're still in the clear so I'm gonna keep my shoes off for this exercise too because I still want that stability and balance so we've got dumbbell RDLs I personally just prefer dumbbell RDLs over barbell RDLs whatever floats your boat if you do want to do barbell feel free however we've programmed for dumbbell so we're gonna be doing dumbbell now the way I want you to do these they're different to a stiff legged deadlift so some people find it challenging to do an RDL because they don't know the cues. So I'm just gonna quickly walk through it. So we wanna make sure that our feet are shoulder width distance apart. Without the dumbbells, I'm gonna quickly show you the move. So we wanna make sure that we're sending our hips to the back of the room. Think of someone having a piece of string around your hips and they're pulling you back. That's the movement that we wanna do. So we wanna be driving our hips back, slight bend in the knees as the weights descend. So we wanna be pushing hips to the back of the room and then pulling forward. This makes you feel it in your glutes more. So slight bend in the knee and then pulling back through. So if we add the dumbbells here, dumbbells in nice and close, hips, back of the room, slight bend. Don't have to go too low, just until you feel it in your hammies, and then up, and then down, feeling that stretch, and up we come. Don't have to overly squeeze your glutes at the top of the movement either. So, 10 reps of this, let's get it. Oh my god. So you know the weight is right for you when on second to the last rep, you're almost you're close to failure. So when there's like rep ranges in a program, so in our programming too, if we say 10 reps, it should be difficult to get to that 10th rep. If you're easily smashing out 10 reps, it means that you need to go heavier with your weight. So if I program six reps, I would have to go up in weight because I could hit six fine. So we've got 20s here. <laughs> Alrighty. Take a rest, take a breather, and then set two. Now I'm not saying that I forgot we had a superset, but I'm also not, not saying that I forgot we had a superset. <laughs> so we're supersetting this. This is why you should look at the program in app because that's a smart thing to do because it's all laid out for you. So this one, we're gonna be doing extra range, side lying leg raises. So the side of your glute here. And it also forms a bit of your upper glute. So you're gonna get that little shelf booty from this one. Make sure our hips aren't curving inwards. So we wanna make sure that our torso is stable and this leg comes up, foot pointed towards the ground and then all the way back down. So you don't have to go super slow with these. They're a little bit faster, but we wanna do 15 each leg. So it's a bit more of a high rep boy. And we'll start to, right, great. So we'll do the opposite leg now. If you wanna make these more challenging, you can add a band or you can even add an ankle weight around your ankle. It'll put more resistance, so it'll make it a bit more challenging. So foot curved down and 15 of these. Okay. Deep burn. Back over to our RDLs, but you can see how you feel. So we're on to our second set. Take the time for seasoning to make <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> that last one is such a struggle to get to the top of. Oh my god. <laughs> but that's good. That means it's the right weight. Okay. So straight in to our extra range. Look how close my foot is to that barbell. Tall girl with big feet problems. <laughs> Okay. 
We have Bulgarian split squats. There's only two sets. This is just so unpleasant. Like, it's so good for you, so don't skip it, please. The way to get, up, get set up in your Bulgarian, your foot on the bench as is, nice wide step out, and then you'll pick up your dumbbells and you'll come up into position. We've got 10 weighted Bulgarian split squats. Then we drop the weight and we'll be doing 10 body weight Bulgarian split squats. So drop set, it's got a bit of a burnout. It definitely burns. All right, let's get it. I just can't stop it from, there's nothing I can do, it's out of my hands. <laughs> you need to have this sort of intensity to put stress on the muscle so that you can build stronger muscles. So if you're not training with intention and intensity, then you're not gonna see the results that you could be seeing if you put in that extra work. So obviously, that was an absolute killer workout. Make sure to give it a try and let me know how you go. If you enjoy it, please give it a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe to my channel to see more workouts. If you are looking for a training program, that workout was from our DAP Booty program, which is a lower body glute focus program. We also have full body training program and we also have every program available in body weight, dumbbell and gym based program options. So pretty much we have a program for anyone. So I'm gonna link all that down below and yeah, see you guys next time. I am so exhausted. <laughs> Thank you and bye.